1999 must have been a memorable year for you. Obviously, you won your first English Premier League title with United. You scored the equaliser, you set up the winner for Solskjaer in the Champions League final. And you scored in the FA Cup final too. How do you describe you know, your emotions, your, your, the, the, the joy that came with it? Well, first of all, it wasn't the best season for myself all, all the way through the season, but obviously it was a fantastic ending to, to the 98-99 season. Um, not everybody understands that. They all think it was the, the best season I've ever had, but I lost my place to Yorkie. Him and Coley played really well up front together and myself and Oli Solskjaer had to play bit part of the, of the season. So uh, I had a couple of injuries that year as well and it was all very, very stop-start. But um, luckily for me, it, it all came good in the last, last few weeks of the season and uh, it's a season that we all remember and one that I hold dear to my heart. My best season for United, personally, would be the last season that I played there. Yeah. I, um, we won the league, I was top scorer, I won the player of the year at United, I won the player of the year of the, of the, of the whole country, the PFA, the football writers, and it was, you don't get much better than that, really. Uh, it's not about personal accolades, but, you know, to be admired at the end of the season is, in a team sport for the, for the team doing really well was, was fantastic. What was it like? to work under Sir Alex Ferguson, considering that you know, you've also played under some fantastic managers like uh, George Graham, Terry Venables and Glenn Otto. Yeah, I've, all my managers are, along the way, up to the pinnacle of my career of working for Sir Alex, have, have been perfect for me in my stages in my career. Yeah, I couldn't have asked for it any better. You know, you, you've mentioned uh, Terry Venables was the, was the best that I ever worked with. Brian Clough was, was a legend and made football so s simplistic. Um, but when you get the chance to work for Sir Alex at, at Manchester United and knowing how he ruled the place, uh, it wasn't just by fear. He had, a, he had a soft touch to him as well, a human side, and he just knew how to motivate his players. What do you think of the current England team under Gareth Southgate. I mean, they've got a fantastic team, but they're disappointed again in the recent Euro. But uh, Gareth Southgate holds a lot of promise, and you've also backed him. Then, what do you think of the current squad, and how do you think Gareth Southgate will adapt? Um, I think he's got a tough job on his hands, to be honest. I, th I think uh, he's he's the right man for the job. He's a good, honest man. He knows his football. I like what he was doing with the under 21s. Uh, like the way they, they tried to play, which is very important for me, that, that how England play. We haven't played the right way, the way I see it, for a good few years now. Um, whether he's got the players to, to do that or not, I'm not so sure. When I played and around that sort of time, everybody that played for England were main players in their teams. And I don't think it's always the case for, for every player that plays for England now. It's, you know, they're not always in their starting lineups at, at their club football, which, which makes it very hard. You've also mentioned that uh, you thought one day that Arsene Wenger would have been the England manager. Uh, you have done your homework, haven't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, st I still think Arsene Wenger would be very good for, for England. I think, uh, I think it is an older man's job. I said before he got the job that Arsene Wenger should be the England manager just, just because he, the way he gets his teams playing. Man United's uh, season so far, we've been inconsistent to say the least. What do you think of Jose Mourinho and how do you think the United are going to uh, progress? Um, well, they're definitely getting a consistency now, aren't they? They're, um, I think it's 16 games yep. without defeat. Yep. So. Uh, I think they're going to be alright. I've been a manager myself, uh, even for a brief spell, uh, and to know that it takes time to get your point across. You don't just come in and tell people what to do and they do it, you know. It, it, it's, a, it's a daily ritual of telling people to, to learn how to do things. And plus you've got other people trying to stop you as well. When you play against Manchester United, you know that everybody wants to beat you. So it's, it's doubly hard for Jose to get it right. Finally, um 
management. You've managed uh, Stephen H, right? And uh, are there any inclinations of you coming back to management? Uh, would you like to come back? I would like to get the chance. Yeah, it's not always uh, it's not always easy though. You know, every job that comes up, there's about 100 applicants wanting each job when, when someone gets the sack. Um, I put my name in for a couple of jobs. I had a couple of interviews, thought I was getting them a, a, in the summer, uh, but didn't. Isn't it uh, uh, the pressure, you know? Uh, why do you want to go into that? Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just what we do, you know? It's, um, I've been brought up in, I loved football from the minute I could walk. Uh, practice and I practice and I wanted to get better. I mean, it's what I know, it's what I know and hopefully I'll get the chance to um, do that again. Well, certainly we hope to too. Um, thank you very much mate, it's been a pleasure.